In this Zoom tutorial for beginners, you'll learn how to use the whiteboard in Zoom, how to share your whiteboard on Zoom, how to use the Zoom annotation tools, and how to use your iPad as a Zoom whiteboard. Let's get started. You can test out the whiteboard on Zoom feature in a dummy meeting. So let's create a new meeting. So how to share the whiteboard on Zoom? Well, first you wanna click the share screen button. This will bring up a number of options, but you'll be wanting to click the whiteboard. And here at Level Up Your Video Skills, I've created a whole playlist on Zoom tutorials, including a full guide on all of the share screen options, which you can check out in the video here. So let's share the Zoom whiteboard by first clicking on it here and then clicking the share button. And here we are inside the whiteboard. This is how to use Zoom for teaching. It's great if you're teaching classes and want to demonstrate something that your words alone couldn't describe or even written text. Inside the online whiteboard on Zoom, you've got a number of options in the formatting panel. You can type in text, do some drawing, there's a few different options here. Stamps, we've got a spotlight for if you wanna highlight certain things. Of course, an eraser. You can change the colors and width of your line, plus formatting options for your text, and then a classic undo and redo feature or to just clear everything, you can hit that. At any point during a whiteboard presentation, you can hit the save feature, which will save to your desktop and come back to it later. Now you're all experts on how to use the whiteboard in Zoom. Next, we'll learn how to use the Zoom annotation tools. And to do that, I've invited another dummy participant into the meeting and have some sample text there. So let's go up to the menu screen up the top, choose more, and now you have a number of options. Specifically with the annotation tools, we have enable attendee annotation and show names of annotators. So let's click enable attendee annotations. And now if my guest wants to annotate on my whiteboard, they can do that on their computer by clicking view options and then selecting annotate. This will bring up the same control panel I have here on their computer and they can interact with writing or drawing or putting stamps on or any of the things I showed you before. For collaboration purposes, maybe you've got a few different people annotating on your whiteboard and you want to be able to see who it is. To make that happen, again come up to the menu screen and click show names of annotators. And now when my guest annotates, I can see it pop up like that. Let's say you're teaching a class in a Zoom meeting or giving a presentation and you're using the whiteboard. If you want to learn how to stop people from writing in your Zoom whiteboard, then it's just a matter of coming up and disabling attendee annotation. Right, a quick note on saving your whiteboards. If I were to stop sharing this or go into a breakout room and start a new whiteboard, this one wouldn't be saved unless I click save every time. So if you don't wanna lose any of that information, make sure you hit the save button. Last of all, if you wanna keep this whiteboard session but create a new one, you can just hit new whiteboard and write in that one and then you can come back to the first one at any time. Here's a bonus tip on how to use Zoom whiteboard on your iPad, Android, or tablet. You can connect via cable, or in my case, via AirPlay, because I have Apple device, click share. To learn the steps on this, check out the video I mentioned earlier about how to share screen on Zoom, which is here again. For now, I'll just follow the on-screen prompts. And now here's my iPad, so I can go ahead and use it as a whiteboard, as I mentioned earlier. Not the world's tidiest handwriting, but you get the idea. That about wraps it up for today's video. So I hope you learned something on how to use the whiteboard in Zoom. And if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up below and please consider subscribing if you like this content and wanna see more. I've got a full Zoom tutorial playlist, as I mentioned up here. And for the next video in the series, click here. In the meantime, enjoy playing with your whiteboard in Zoom.